Good morning, everyone. How y'all doing? Today, I want to talk to you about our Olivia Rose Austin roses and our dianthus, particularly or especially our dianthus plants. We have 30 plants in all that face south. The reason why I wanted to show you these plants today is we put them in the ground November 2021. And I only lost one. And I want to say it was the second or third one on this side. Not sure why. Maybe I stepped on it going across here. Anyway, they have all performed extraordinary, especially during our hot summers. It seems like each summer seems to be hotter than the previous one. Uh, last summer, I remember talking to friends and family saying, oh my goodness, I thought last summer was hot. Well, 2022 was extremely hot, especially when you know when you're running your air conditioner at Octo in October. This last winter, California received a lot of rain. I'm not sure how many inches, but it was a lot. And this area right here has a slight dip down uh, when we uh, put the sprinklers in and laid the sod. It's, it's a bit hilly. I don't know if the camera picks up on that, but right here, it's a small dip. And all winter long, I'd look out my kitchen window, my living room window, and I just thought, oh, I'm gonna lose these plants. I know I'm gonna lose these plants because it never dried out, literally never dried. Even though it faced south, the rain was so excessive uh, to the point where you could walk right here and it would almost be a little mushy. And I just wanted to encourage those of you who live where it rains a lot that I didn't lose one plant over the winter time. And if anything, maybe the rain helped them. We never had our sprinkler system on during the winter time. And I just think they're amazing. I believe I have three or four, maybe it's three different colors here. And when I first planted them, I'll make sure I link the video. They were so small and, you know, of course there was a big gap in between, but now they're all touching and you can finally see them from the sidewalk in the street. And I just, I absolutely love them. Now I wanna show you our David Austin roses. I planted these three Olivia Rose Austin roses. I think it's either March or April, 2021. So they are actually two years old this spring season. And I'll make sure that I link that video as well. When I first planted them, um, oh, a couple of days had gone by and we were already reaching super hot temps. And I thought I almost was gonna lose a couple of them. I didn't. And because they were so small, it's taken a bit of time for them to get this big but they're so full and so beautiful. It almost makes me want to carry them all the way down. However, the further down, how do you say, do you say it? The further north you go to the back of our fence, the shadier it is. But these are around between three and four feet tall right now, and they're just full of blooms and buds. And I have to tell you, I have never had aphids, pests, um, any of the diseases that seem to plague roses. I have never had not any of that on these roses ever. And I just, it's so exciting when I leave or come home and I drive past and I see this big pale pink um, area of roses it's just it makes me so happy so i just wanted to share these with you our summers get well over a hundred and we last year i think we had over 60 days of over 100 degree heat we don't cool down in the evenings at all during the height of summer we do have winters that can dip in the high 20s rare just a couple of days mostly 30s low 40s but I just, I wanted to show you how happy I am with their performance and um, they're just stunning. They're stunning. I want more. <laughs> I want to find more places to put roses in my yard. 
Before I say goodbye, I just wanted to go over a few more plants um, that are, I know, <laughs> come a couple months from now, they're not going to be quite as showy as they are right now. These African daisies I planted February of 2021. I have kept all of them alive, except for the few here at the end that you can tell are a bit different. And each year, oops, let me get my shot out of the way. Each year I keep trying to find the Serenity Purple. That's the color that they are. And I have struggled to find them. I will still be on the hunt for them again this year. I cut them back probably twice each season. And they just perform extraordinary here. This gets full sun all day, no break whatsoever. And I had no idea, but for the first time, you guys, I uh, did not know they self-seed. <laughs> I think that's an African daisy plant uh, between the daffodils and the tulip foliage. So that's kind of cool. I'll keep that. I have a couple over here by the roses that I'm gonna have to land up pulling. The geraniums are blooming like crazy. The ranunculus are almost done. The daffodils are done, except for a few over there by the bird bath. My salvia look is starting to come up. Look how little it is. A lot of exciting growth going on right now and lots of stuff to plant. Before too long, it'll be time for a tour. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful week and we'll see you soon. Bye.